Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. You should probably deleted your primary payment method in AdSense and cannot add a new one. Please stay tuned and this video would help you out. What you should understand is that deleting your primary payment method simply means deleting your payment profile. And after deleting your payment profile, in other words, after deleting your primary payment method, you would realize that the add payment uh, method option would disappear in your AdSense account and you would no longer be able to add a new payment method. Now I'm going to show you in this video what to do if you are experiencing such a problem. If you are also planning of changing your EFT to a new bank account, in other words if you are planning of changing your bank account in AdSense, this video would help you out. This video would help you uh, change your bank details properly and prevent the risk of removing your primary payment method because that would cost you a lot. Now, EFT goes by um, electronic funds transfer, which is the mode of payment in AdSense, which consists of simply adding your bank details to directly receive your payments from AdSense. Okay, in your bank account. Now, uh, sometimes you might want to change your bank details after you you you, you had already added a, a bank account and during the process if you are not very careful you might end up removing your primary payment method and there are many people who are victim I mean victims of this particular problem and I would show you what to do secondly I keep repeating we would also look at if you are planning to, of changing your EFT in other words, your bank details to a new bank account in order to get paid. This video would also help you out. All right. Now, without much ado, we're going to log into AdSense. And I will first of all show you um, how to properly change your bank details in AdSense. In other words, how to properly change your EFT to a new bank account in AdSense followed by what to do if you have already or sorry followed by what to do if you have already deleted your primary payment method now to log into adsense i hope we all know how to log into adsense but for the benefit of a doubt you could go to google.com slash adsense slash start and that would take you to the adsense home page simply click on login I'm sorry, this particular page is in French, so say connecté means login. At least I've shown you, I've shown you a word in French. All right. So you simply click on login, and then you're gonna put your email address and then your password, and then you click on next, and then when you like now I'm logging to my AdSense account. When I'm logging to my AdSense account, I simply click on payments. And then when you click on payments, it brings you here. Now, in order to um, edit your payment method or in order to remove or even uh, add a new payment method, you simply come and click on manage payment methods. Okay. Now, when you click on manage payment methods, what happens? You will have uh, this particular page displayed. Now, over here, you realize that I have my primary payment method here, which is my uh, my existing bank account or bank details, right? Now, I have the option to either edit, remove, or add a new payment method. Now, here's where people get it all confused. As soon as they get into this particular page, they simply since they want to change a new bank account they simply go straight away and hit on remove now when you hit on remove straight away what you are simply doing is that you are deleting your payment profile so never do this if you would like to add a new bank account in your adsense you have two uh, choices you could either edit the existing one and the existing one editing it I think I don't know whether you can you don't have much to edit you can only edit your bank your account name or something for instance you can click on edit you can just click on edit 
then you start by editing the name of your bank account you know if you don't want to edit it then if you and you want to add a new bank uh, account then what you have to do is that you make sure you first add the new bank details by clicking on add payment now you're going to submit your new bank details and after the submission you could even wait after the submission you could even wait for the, the the validation of your bank details because when you submit your bank details you they will send you a test deposit of maybe less than one dollar for you to verify your new bank details or probably they might not ask you to i'm, I'm not sure whether let's say when you are to add in another uh, a secondary uh, bank account you will be asked to to confirm your bank details by test deposit i'm not sure whether that happens but if that happens what that means is just when you add your bank your new bank details kindly wait verify your bank details and after the verification you can now comfortably come because as soon as you add the new bank details you will have both bank accounts displayed here i'm sorry i haven't done such so i, do, I cannot have i don't have to uh, let's say two bank accounts to show you but what i mean is that when you do it properly that's when you first of all add your new bank details anytime you log into adsense and you come to your payment info you realize that the two bank accounts will be displayed here and at that point you can now remove your primary payment method or you could even leave it and define the, the newly entered bank uh, account as your primary payment method so this is very simple but never and ever just log into your adsense and come and remove your primary payment method because when you remove your primary payment method it means deletion of your payment profile and you would no longer be able to manage your payment settings you would not find add payment method again so this is what i'm trying to say all right now like i said you have the choice when you log into adsense you could click on let's say edit and then uh, this page will display you first of all edit your the name of your bank account then click on update and that is it you know I think uh, editing your bank details, I don't know what you may want to edit, but there's no much to do here. But in case you want to uh, probably add a new bank account, as uh, I keep saying, now, if you would like to add a new bank account, what are you going to do? Make sure don't ever remove the primary payment method. Don't touch it. When you log into your AdSense account, you click on Payments and then you come and click on Manage uh, Payment uh, Methods and then you have this page displayed. Simply what? Come and click on Add Payment Method and then you add your new bank account or your new bank details. Now, after submitting your the name of your bank account, as on your bank documents, you enter just your name and then your your name your first sorry your same name and then your first name there's no need adding doctor or mr whatever no just put simply your name for instance my name is minunku i write my name now add my uh, second name so you write your same name followed by what your first name and after which you add your uh, IBAN. IBAN, I forgot to know the full meaning. You know, and then you also add your Swift Bake. All these are uh, details, you know. Now, if you don't know any of these, you can consult your bank. And after which you simply, you see that after you add, let's say, the all these details, you have the choice to define it as primary payment method or not so as you can see here you have the choice if you want so now since you are planning on deleting your existing bank details after you have added the new bank details you make sure you check set as primary payment method now after which you simply click on save sorry click on save 
and that is it but never and ever uh, now like i told you after you click on save you will have both accounts displayed and since you have already set this one as your primary payment method by checking this particular box it means this one would be your primary payment method which means from that particular day anytime uh, adsense is to pay you the money will be sent to the new primary payment method that you've just entered and if you want now you can delete your existing payment method which has now become a secondary payment method but never and ever just log into adsense and then when you come to this particular payment section you just simply come and click on remove when you remove your primary payment method it means you are deleting your payment profile and you can no longer manage your payment settings until the technical intervention of what uh, adsense so now let me show you what to do if i should click on remove what happens this is what you would see you would see something like uh, no payment methods yet something like this and you you look read you can read from uh, above it's written your payments are currently on hold action is required to release payment so what that means is as soon as you what should i say so just think about it as soon as you delete your payment profile even your payments are going to be on hold so a friend contacted me with a similar problem where he accidentally deleted his primary payment method that's why i was telling you it would cost you a lot because when you delete your primary payment method it means you are, without having already added a new payment method it means that you are simply deleting your payment profile and after deleting your payment profile your payments are going to be suspended you understand so your payments like this person her payments are currently on hold simply because he deleted so it means what that means is that your youtube earnings would no longer reflect in your adsense account so imagine the consequence it would no longer reflect in your adsense account hence adsense would no longer pay you so you realize okay for instance um you realize that by the end of the month or let's say somewhere between the the 7th and the 12th of the month or is it the 10th and the 14th of the month when you check in your adsense account you have no earnings or payments from youtube your payments will be suspended or in other words your payments would be on hold till you know the, the, the i mean till the technical intervention of adsense for you to get a new payment method because unless a payment profile is added again to your your adsense your payments will remain suspended your youtube earnings will no longer reflect in adsense and adsense would no longer pay you is what i'm saying so it's very serious and you will see something like your uh, payments are currently on hold action is required to release payments you see something like no payment methods yet something like this it's a kind of uh, bizarre page that you would see so in a nutshell all that i'm trying to tell you is that removing primary payment method without having already added a new one is equal to deleting your payment profile so please be careful now you might be asking me so what do we do if i have already deleted my primary payment method now to answer this question i'll take you to uh, google adsense help and we will see the way forward now in google adsense help a lot of people have asked a similar question a lot of people like i told you a lot of people have made this mistake okay so let's just read one of them the person said this is actually in google adsense help so if you want maybe underneath this video within the description box i'm going to put the links for you to uh, visit 
this all these um, chat and uh, read for for more information so somebody just said accidentally removed my primary payment method and now there is no option of manage payments so you see what i'm saying deleting your primary payment method without having already added a new payment method is equal to what deleting your payment profile which means your payments will be suspended and at the same time you will not be able to what to to manage your payment method that option will disappear you will not have add payment method again all right now let's see what um, the replies all right somebody replied from the youtube team was it the adsense team and this is what the fellow said said many users many users are suffering with the same problem and google is aware of it and trying to fix as our senior product expert forwarded this to the adsense management sorry the as the adsense payment team all right so they are saying that Google is saying that I mean I said Google is saying that somebody responded from the YouTube team saying that uh, many users are suffering from or the AdSense team saying that many users are suffering from this problem and Google is aware of it and trying to fix it, to fix as our dear senior uh, what do we say uh, dear senior product expert forwarded this particular issue to the adsense payment team so please wait till you get your ad payment method enabled you get it however you can try you can try sorry you can try it again after clearing of catch and removing of ad blocker if any you get me so this, these are alternative solutions that you could also remove all catch and uh, if you have ad blockers within your browser you make sure you get rid of all those ad blockers uh, and maybe retry okay now let's click on this particular link he said what you can see the post here so these are the details of the conversations let's click on it now when i clicked on it you see something like this 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 is this is an internal communication within the adsense team high uh, power it means somebody the technical team they are communicating among themselves and this is the message that the person shared to respond to that, that particular user who accidentally deleted his payment profile or in other words who accidentally deleted his primary payment method and he said um, hi Pawan thanks for reaching out we are experiencing problems with adding a new payment profile our engineers are working to have it fixed as soon as possible and I will let you know once it has been resolved. I apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience. So this was when uh, somewhere I think March 2021. So you can see the, the and if you should check right under you see that there are other comments which are simply they say well, thank you another uh, user is commenting thank you for your for the reports they have been sorry uh, no not a user I think it's, it's a communication within the YouTube team or the AdSense team thank you for your reports they have been passed on to the adsense team i recommend that you also report it to 
AdSense directly, you can do that by clicking on by clicking the feedback option on the button of the left menu of your AdSense account. So now let me show you how you can send a feedback in AdSense quickly. Now, let me show you how you can send a feedback to AdSense in order to resolve this particular problem. What that means is that this, this particular conversation that I just showed you was in uh, March 2021. And I'm recording this video today, the 20th of December 2021, which means the problem hasn't yet been resolved because a brother just complained to me about it. Uh, I mean the fact that he had accidentally deleted his primary payment method too and he hasn't had the possibility of adding a new payment method ever since then and his payments have been suspended you see so uh, according to YouTube team they are saying that you should make sure you clear your cache your browser cache and after which you can also get rid of all ad blockers and retry but in addition to that you should also send a feedback. So I just log into my AdSense account and I'm going to show you how to send a feedback to the AdSense team. To send a feedback, uh, I mean, showing them whatever problem that you are experiencing. All you simply have to do is you make sure, I'm not gonna open, go into the payment section because I don't wanna show you a whole lot of details, but you simply make sure you you, you, you go click on payments and you go to your payments uh, manage payment settings as I showed you earlier on and then you would realize that okay at that point you would simply see this particular picture that I showed you earlier on the picture that I showed you earlier on where uh, they said your payments are currently suspended and there are issues that you need to resolve blah 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 you simply Take a screen capture of the problem and send it to them. Now I'll show you how to send a feedback. To send a feedback, you make sure you are on the particular page, your payments page. This is just my, I mean, you make sure you click on payments, you go to the payments page as I'm showing you, and you show at the page where there is this particular problem, where you can no longer find your payment method. You simply check, there's always this feedback here. You click on feedback, and then you take a screenshot. So for example, if I want to send a screen a feedback, I just click on this particular button. Now take a screenshot. Let's assume here is where it's written that my payments are currently suspended and blah, 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 and whatever. And that uh, there's no payment method currently, blah, blah. Then you just take a screenshot of it, okay? And you click on done. Now, when you click on done, you can actually write a message here. So you can say, for instance, hi, AdSense team. You know, comma. Then you get down and say, blah, 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 blah. You just explain the problem that you are experiencing. I have recently, I, have, I would like to bring to your notice that I have, I have recently or accidentally deleted my primary payment method and uh, for that matter i can no longer add a new payment method i would be very grateful if you could uh, restore my payment settings for me because i no longer have the payment option the payment add payment method option this is just my own way and then after which after writing the message blah 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 you simply click on yours faithfully then you write your, your name, you sign with your name, and you click on send. So when you click on send, it will send this particular feedback to the AdSense team with a screenshot, and they will actually treat your request. So please do that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video helped.